Well, the whole thing with like serial entrepreneurship with me was that it was like a journey. So like I started somewhere. So there was electric couture. That was like my idea, like why can't I look smart and pretty at the same time? It was about, you know, I wanted to have a variable light. Um, uh, so I started with one company. I remember it was very exciting going to the nota through the legals, to the bookkeeping and something like that. And uh, then the company developed and uh, I've noticed there's actually like a big market in uh, B2B because Electro Couture was B2C. We made uh, consumer products, um, pretty and smart ones. Um, and then I've noticed there is a huge uh, gap in the market for B2B consultancy uh, in fashion technology and wearable, uh, and wearable technology because um, as the word says, it's fashion and tech. So there was an opportunity to bring fashion and technology industry together. Um, but through the brand of Electric Couture, it was really difficult to communicate. So it made totally sense that we just uh, set up uh, another company which uh, is focusing totally on B2B consultancy. And with that, the powerhouse was born. And then kind of like, you know, like once you've done the first one and the second one, it becomes easier with time. Um, and then the other companies, um, uh, they actually, they all really helped us to focus in particular niches. So we had Electro Couture as like the high-end luxury B2C brand. We had like the consultancy, um, but fashion technology is, they're like 50 shades off in this field. There are like so many different approaches. And of course our customers are very, very diverse. So for us, it was really uh, important to have like a constellation where we can react really quickly and flexible on the needs to our customers. Um, so uh, that's why we have a biotechnology company because biotech and material science are super important uh, um, in the innovation of uh, fashion technology. Um, and uh, the team there just like totally focuses on biotechnology. Um, then uh, what you know, always was, has been really close to my heart is because we had a lot of fashion designers coming to us and said like, look, we only learn the past in our universities, but we have to learn the future. And uh, so there was a huge need for education services. So we, we started the Fashion Tech Academy <laughs> where we've been um, uh, teaching fashion designers how to solder, how to 3D print, how to laser cut, and uh, um, how e uh, electric circuits um, um, work. Um, so uh, um, all of the companies have their separate focuses, but in the end we are all like a big uh, family. And um, the funny thing is actually like now uh, we have six companies all together and I'm already thinking about the seventh because like once you get started it's really hard to stop. There's so much more to discover and so many um, opportunity and um, uh, having having different, um, different pillars in this field actually makes us stronger and more flexible.